Do you feel like a fraud because you just are living this double life because you're kind of out of the closet but then you're kind of not and so like you have to like really make up for it? Stay tuned. Because this video is something you're gonna want to watch. Because I might have the words for you that may help you get through. Rhymes. Alright. So with that being said, let's start out with a formal greeting for me to you. What is it? What is up? How's it going? If you hear that whistling in the background or that talking or random whatever noises, that is my bird. Aladdin. So let me read you the message. I recently came out to some friends and a couple family members. I still can't help but feel fake. I'm in my 20s and I just, I don't know. I feel like because I've only dated guys, I feel like a fraud almost. I have tried for months to find somebody to date, but I can't find any girls. It feels pretty hopeless. I don't need anyone to date, nor do I spend all my time obsessing about it. I just want to fully start that part of my life. So first thing is first, the most important thing to remember is not to rush things. It is very important to not rush coming out of the closet one nobody says that you need to come out of the closet it's a thing made up by society and the opinions of others there's no rule out there or law that says you need to come out you need to figure out your sexuality by law you have to figure it out you have to declare yourself as something there's nothing that says anything out there there's no need to label there's no need to come out that being said if that's something you genuinely want to do because you want to do not to shut other people up not to make other people happy not because you know that you're gonna be better accepted or you feel that's the way to be accepted or whatever it is then you know hey if that's what you want that's what you want everybody is entitled to feel and want their own things in life and we're all on our right to go out and get those things or to give ourselves those things so long as it's making you happy if you want to come out come out if you don't then don't if you believe that you should come out then believe so if you don't believe that you should or you believe that nobody should then believe so you know what i mean it doesn't matter what the next person thinks or says or wants it matters what you say think and want and feel i think in moments like this it's it's a good idea and such a positive thing to take a step back and look back at the whole entire picture and see that hey you have it good and this is not a really messed up situation and i'm not by any means saying oh you know you're overreacting or anything nothing it has nothing to do with that i'm just trying to give you a different perspective look at what you just said i came out to some friends and a couple family members you know how many people in this life and I'm, again it's not to make you feel bad or anything it's just kind of to help you see and hopefully put things into a different perspective for you that you can start to help yourself heal through this or help yourself get through this moment in your life or this turbulence that's going on in your life or, or this challenge that's obstacle in your life or what you're currently dealing with. How many people out there wish that they could have what you have with your family members coming out to them and all the supportive people in your life? You have that. That's such a great start. You've accepted yourself. Even if you're feeling like a fraud, you've accepted the fact that you have a thing for girls. That's the best part is that you accepted yourself. Yeah, sometimes there's a long way to go with that and there's so much more to just accepting yourself and there's so so many different levels but starting with knowing and admitting to yourself is more than enough deep down inside you know that you like women that you have dated guys and it's never really worked out you know the truth so you feeling like a fraud or feeling like you're living a double life there's no reason to feel that way you know what i mean don't put those feelings on yourself because it's, it's not the truth and you know it's not the truth now if you try to pick out why you're feeling this way or, or try to set apart these feelings and why you're feeling or what gives you the feeling of feeling like you are a fraud then that's when you can start to work on those things individually i think it's important to try to see those things and pinpoint them and try to weed them out of the rest of the things that are going on in your life or the way that you feel because then you can go to work on them. I see what you're saying. You feel like, for example, that you identify as lesbian. You feel like a fraud because you are saying you're a lesbian, but you, or you identify as a lesbian, but you've never even had a lesbian relationship. I totally get what you're saying. You've never been anything like that. But having a relationship with another woman does not define who you are as a person 100%. You've dated guys. You've found out what you found out through that. But this is the thing that we take in so many outside opinions that we cloud up our own. And so you start to think where along that line did you cover up the reality that it doesn't matter what they say. What along the line made you feel that you needed to date certain sex or do certain things to make sure that this is what you wanted. I think that comes with life, to know who you are. You know yourself best. The best part of being you is that you are you. You're not the next person. The next person can't be you. You can't be the next person. You know yourself. You know everything about you. You are letting the opinions of others control you, you gotta put a stop to that. You've gotta stop that and control your own thoughts, your own opinions, and take your own opinions, your thoughts, the way you feel into consideration because that's what's important. What other people say that are negative, who cares? 
Fuck their thoughts. Stop living by their standards. Stop living by their expectations. Start living by your standards, your expectations, what you want out of life, what you think, what you feel, what you know, all of that. Because look what taking other opinions and stuff that you see on the outside, look what it's done to you. Look what it's caused in you. Through your message, I'm getting the feel of, and I don't know if it really is this way, but it seems like you feel like you're needing to meet this expectation to really know who you authentically are. But that comes with you figuring it out for yourself. Whether you have dated somebody or kissed a girl or never have, or have ever been intimate with somebody of the same sex, it doesn't 100% mean that you have to go out and try to see for yourself. If you know, you know. We are pretty instinctual human beings. We can feel these things and know these things. Some of us better than others. Some of us do require needing to go out and fall in love with a woman to really realize, oh my gosh, I've been gay this whole entire time. You get what I'm saying? It's different for everybody. I don't think that you are a fraud. I don't think that you should feel that way. I think that if you know who you are, you know who you are. And that's point blank period and I know that you said that you know that you don't need to date a woman and yeah you don't you don't need it and I think that if you are still pushing it or you were pushing it I mean it happens we're human beings we eventually find ourselves wanting love and bringing love in and wanting to do these cute things with another person and share beautiful moments with another person and etc but you know what they say let it come to you I know there are moments when you may go out or times in the past where we have gone out and look for love or sometimes that's just in the process of our journey of life and then out of nowhere somebody pops up or sometimes we meet someone through another person and we're just like whoa this is amazing it happens when you least expected it and I think that is the most beautiful part of it and so I think that you definitely shouldn't push it and again you don't have to listen to my opinion you don't have to listen to anybody else's opinion you don't even have to take any opinions in the most important opinion is what you feel and how you feel your opinion and once you have gotten a grasp of that then you can reach out and be like oh wow, you know what I really like their opinion select what you want that's the beauty of having control of your life and having control of your mind and your thoughts in your life you can pick and choose what you want to bring in or take out of your life. And who decided to start lawn mowing the mow lawn mowing the mower right now? Well if you hear that that's the whoever's lawn mowing the lawn. I think when it boils down to it, you can try and find and look and look and look and look and look. But if it's meant to be where this person comes into your life, it may feel like you're searching forever until they actually land in front of you and well, not necessarily like out of a plane. <laughs> until they are actually right in front of you and you're just like, I waited for you my whole entire three, seven months, maybe my whole entire life, but I, I know that it was meant to be. <laughs> and that's going to be one of the best feelings that it just happened. So I think when you're in this predicament, when you're in this moment of like not knowing what to do or feeling helpless or hopeless or just, just like, man, this like really sucks or like you really want something, I think the best thing to do, in my opinion, again, <laughs> is to work on yourself, to focus on yourself, to focus all of the energy that you're using to try to find somebody and use it to better yourself, to work on yourself, to do the things that you want to do, all the things that make you genuinely happy. I think you should focus at all on that. And while you're focusing on all that, following your dreams, going to school, whatever it is that you want out of life, everything else is going to follow. Everything else is going to fall into place. And I think you should just give time Time. Eliminate those thoughts of you being a fraud or you being anything negative. You've got to give yourself love. You've got to give yourself credit. You've got to give time time. You have to be a little bit more patient. Learn to be patient if you're not a patient person. But I can see that you're trying to figure things out and I think that's a really great start. And I think that you should just continue on and like I said, just focus all that energy on yourself and, and pushing yourself to go out and just enjoy life and have faith that this will definitely come when it's meant to come. That's what she said. <laughs> this is meant to fall in place when it's meant to fall in place. I mean, who knows while you're busy focusing on yourself you might run across somebody and be like wow this is amazing i've been waiting for you and then you will understand why it took as long as it did or why you took the path that you took why things happened to play out that way you know all of that stuff i really do hope that this helps you i really hope that i was able to put things into a different perspective for you maybe a more positive perspective maybe a better perspective maybe you already had this perspective which i don't think you did because then you wouldn't have sent that message to me but i do hope that you definitely see that good things take time as they say and i think that you should definitely see this as a perfect opportunity to work on yourself to do the things that you want to do and when that person arrives you'll be super happy because you'll have been working on yourself you'll be feeling good feeling great uh, but yeah thank you so much if you know anybody who needs to hear these words or would really benefit from hearing these words or somebody you know that really needs to hear this please please take a second out of your day and share this forward share this with them or repeat what i said to them you know you never know who you could be helping you know it's always so nice to help another person out so i do want to say thank you so much ahead of time if you do thank you so much for watching this video thank you for giving me a little bit of your time and your attention and press and click on press and click on this play pressing play on this video and i hope that you continue to enjoy your day or your night 
or whatever time of day it is. And if you don't already follow me on my social medias, they're on the screen or down below. If you would like what you see, I do invite you to follow me. If you are following me, thank you so much. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this video now and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if there's one thing that I wanna call to mind, there are actually three, no matter the highs or lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. Bye.